We are creating a monthly report and we want to send this report by email but as a PDF attached to that email. I'm going to show you how in this video. Make sure we have only one tab. This is a very simple implementation of this. There are more complicated ones. If you're doing like invoicing, we can create multiple PDFs, save them in Google Drive, and then email that as an attachment as well. But in this video, we're just going to simply email this page to, well, ourselves or the owner of the spreadsheet. So go up to Extensions, App Script. That'll open this. We're going to create a function called Send Email PDF Report. We're going to essentially do two things. We're going to create a PDF, and then we're going to send that PDF as an attachment. So let's create the PDF first. We're going to go variable PDF equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet get as and here's the important part mime type dot PDF all caps set name. And we're going to call it monthly report very general. Okay, when that happens, we're going to get a PDF out of that, but we need to send it as an email. This is sort of a little bit complicated, but follow along. At the end of this, we'll go mail app dot send email email. But we need to create sort of all of the information in the email. We'll do that here. Variable email equals, and in curly brackets, we're going to do a, co a comma separated list. We're going to send it to someone, which is, we'll just do the owner of the sheet, spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet get owner dot get email. We'll need a comma after that too, and subject monthly report attached comma body of the email C attached report another comma. And now the final magic attachments colon and in square brackets, put this variable PDF that we put up here. So again, we're creating this PDF. We're creating this email, who it's to, the subject, the body, the attachments, and then we're sending it. So let's save this command S. And right now we could s send this. We can click run and it's gonna ask us to authorize. And it's sent. Here we see what it sent. See attached report. Here's the subject. And here's an attachment with a PDF that looks very much like our spreadsheet. Very awesome. But let's automate this. Let's make sure that this gets sent every month at the end of the month. But how do we do this automatically? Over on the left side, click triggers on the bottom right, click add trigger. We're going to choose which function to run. If you have multiple functions, you'll have to choose it here. If you only have this one function, it will be here already. Send email PDF report from event source time driven. I'm going to need to change this to month timer. And now we get to select the day of the month. Now I'm going to select the 31st here and at the end of the month, we can say 10 to 11 PM, right? We could also consider sending this on the first of the month to make sure that we've put in last month's data. So let's do that in the morning, six to 7 AM on the first. Another option here is because this is automatic and maybe we've been doing this manually and it's not necessarily done literally on the first, we may want to choose a second, third, fourth, fifth to give it a few days in case you want to make sure that all the data is in there and correct maybe. So you can choose when to send it here, click save. It may ask you to authorize again or for the first time if you haven't yet. Once the trigger is created, it will now send every month. If you want to edit it, come back to app script triggers and then click on the pencil icon to edit it. But also if you want to delete it, these three dots here can be found delete trigger. We can always delete the trigger anytime we want and add it again, just a few simple clicks. Hopefully this was helpful to you to send a Google Sheet as a PDF attachment automatically. If you're looking to get more out of your Google Sheets, cool things you probably never knew you could do, subscribe here to Better Sheets on YouTube.